everybody. What's going on? Perry here from LiveX, being assisted by Nick Walsh. What a guy. <sighs> Thanks, Nick. He gives me the thumbs up. So, we have a lovely piece of hardware here for you that we're gonna unbox. So let's get started because I'm real excited about this one. Today, guys, we have the new 2ME switcher from Blackmagic. And when I found out that we had this in the office, I, I just, I, I, I'm telling you right now, I circled the office three times looking for it and I couldn't find the box. But anyway, enough about me going on a wild goose chase uh, for a piece of cardboard, no, piece of hardware inside the cardboard. We're gonna open it up because you know what the background means, it's time for another unboxing. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, foam. Thanks guys. No, I'm kidding, all right, here we go. Actual stuff. The magic, get it? See what I did there? I can stare at it all day. It's gorgeous. They haven't updated the old one in a long time. And now we have this. This is, this is gorgeous. I, I mean, oh, it's actually not that heavy. I don't know, maybe 30-ish pounds? We're gonna do a little maneuvering here so I can actually get it on the table. And then, is there anything in here? From my angle, there's a couple of pieces of ugh, paper, loud thud. I promise it was the cardboard, not the switcher. Don't be mad. And down. Okay. Wow. Look at this thing. So, as most of us know, Blackmagic has three different uh, switchers, their advanced panels. They have the 1ME, this new 2ME. So the 1ME came out a little while ago. This is the 2, and now my heart sings every time I talk about it. They have also a 4 ME switcher. This thing is four, the, so the four ME switcher is four feet long. This is, I don't know, maybe give or take two to two and a half. Um, pretty much your standard size switcher for a two ME, maybe a little smaller uh, lengthwise, but your standard, standard switcher um, works with all ATEM software. We have a Constellation 8K in our MCR that uh, this will most likely be plugged into and I can't wait to set that one up myself. But anyway, I'm sorry, I'm talking about too many different things. What do we got? We have two LED LCD panels here, uh, most likely one for each bus, bus one, bus two, preview program. This is, will be all of your keys or your macros and you can select all of that over here. I have a little bit of a glare so it's a little hard for me to see, but macro, background, key one, two, three, four, on, 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 on. And then even over here, okay, so pausing, uh, not actually pausing, like, you know, just pausing. Um, cool thing about switchers is, especially with black magic switchers, they're still 4ME switchers, but they're digitally 4ME switchers. So you have two buses, but you still have all four here. So you can actually have bus one selected here and bus four here, or you can even flip them and then you can have whatever you want. You can even, if you really wanted to, I believe uh, switchers, most switchers for that matter, you can actually have the same bus in two different locations. Why you do that? Nobody knows, but anyway, sorry. So uh, fade to black buttons for both. And so a cool thing about these switchers actually, so the newer ones, they, they have, I believe, if you go into, I mean, it's off, so I wouldn't be able to actually walk you through it, but I believe if you go into settings, there's actually now profiles, which is real, a really cool new function. Uh, you can set like all of your different, um, for like a specific show profile, one can be for Joe Schmo late night, or, uh, or you know, profile seven can be Jane Doe does, does magic. Uh, but really, really cool joystick actually feels really, really nice. A lot of joysticks, they, they're either too loose or too tight, but this one is actually, I mean, I'm playing with a joystick, but, but 
it's actually really nice. Faders are really, really nice. And you know, when you get a black magic piece of hardware, you know you're getting a good product. And just by looking at it, it's not even turned on and the thing is gorgeous. But I, I digress. On the back, I'll, I, I would, I'll flip it around if I can lift it. I'm strong, I promise I go to the gym. Not really. Uh, you have, I'm gonna see if, I'm, I'm just gonna come around the table. You have USB-C, you have power, and you have redundant power, which is very, very important most times. And then you have, what was it, four? One, two, three, I can count. Four Ethernet plugs um, for internet and for all of your uh, connectivity things. See, now I'm staring at it, and you guys, you guys get to see the back. I get to see the pretty part. Uh, but I, I'll turn it back around for you because you guys are more important than I am. So, oh, here's a cool thing. Okay, we're turning it back around. Oh my gosh, this thing actually weighs more than I thought. Okay, maybe I do need to go back to the gym. Thanks, Dad. Uh, cool thing here is, which is new on the newer panels, you have a record, cue, fast forward, rewind, skip, previous, play, and stop. That is for any video that you load into the switcher, you know, at one of your clips, or even, I believe, if you know the answer to this, and I'm telling you the wrong answer, comment below. It will work with your media players as well, so all of your background loops. So if you cue something up with a macro and say you forgot to click the play button, I believe that might work. But again, comment below if you need to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you have camera control, super sources, audio, auxes, macros, borders, like I said, media players, fade to black, color, stinger, dip, DVEs, wipes, mixes, keyers, settings, and home buttons. Well, I hope we have a home button. There's a lot of cool stuff on this, and I'm telling you right now, I'm excited, man. This is going to be a lot of fun to hook up. Because I I'm a nut about switchers, and then when we, when we get a new one, Perry goes crazy because th these, the newer ones, like you can, you can almost do anything, honestly. And then the fact that this works off of the A10 software, I mean, the world is your oyster. Is that the saying? The world is your oyster. We're going to say that it is, we're going to say it, but I think I've rambled enough for this one because I'd rather just, you know, Get it hooked up and get using it. So, we're going to leave it there. Thanks for watching this unboxing of this 2ME Bus Blackmagic uh, Switcher. We are very excited to get working on it. And uh, if you want more content from LiveX, you know where to go. LiveX production on all social media platforms. Follow, like, thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below as well. Click the bell too. This is the bell ringing. This is me ringing the bell. Because every time we post a new video, ding, ding, you get a notification. So go check out all those social media platforms. And you know where we'll be unboxing more of these. Well, not more of these, but more things. Hooking this baby up. And we'll bring you another one of these unboxings next time.